Para ice hockey, otherwise known as sled or sledge hockey, is a modified form of ice hockey played on sledges. Sledge hockey is fast-paced, highly physical, and played by both male and female athletes with a physical impairment in the lower part of the body. The sport is governed by the International Paralympic Committee with coordination of the World Para Ice Hockey Technical Committee. Sledge hockey was invented at a rehabilitation center in Stockholm, Sweden. During the 1960s, a group of Swedes who, despite their physical impairment, wanted to continue playing hockey. The sport caught on and by 1969, Stockholm had a five-team league that included players with both a physical impairment and able-bodied players. That same year, Stockholm hosted the first international para ice hockey match between a local club team and one from Oslo, Norway. Para ice hockey became an official event at the 1994 Paralympic Winter Games. You are eligible to play sledge hockey if you have a lower limb impairment and are unable to play traditional stand-up hockey. Common disabilities include amputees, spinal cord injuries, and spina bifida. The following equipment is needed to play para ice hockey or sledge hockey. Because of the physical nature of the game, all players are required to wear a helmet with a full cage or mask, shoulder pads, elbow pads, protective gloving, and shin pads, depending on the impairment of the player. The puck is made of a rubber or other approved materials. The sledge, which is made of aluminum in curved front end, has a seating system called a bucket, which is placed on top. The sledge is set on two blades, which are usually made of tempered steel. The puck must be able to pass underneath the metal frame of the sledge. The stick or picks used in para ice hockey are hooked with a blade at one end for puck handling and shooting. And at the other end, each stick has a maximum length of carbon fiber that is used as a pick to help propel them on the ice. The stick must not damage the ice surface or puncture or slash other players. So the following rules apply. No part of the pick or teeth may come to a sharp point. The pick must not extend more than one centimeter away beyond the stick. The pick must have at least six teeth, each with a maximum length of four millimeters. The goaltender may have an additional pick at the base of his stick. Para ice hockey follows typical ice hockey rules with the exception of using a sledge and having two picks instead of the one hockey stick. The object of the game is just like regular hockey, to move the puck down the rink and shoot into your opponent's goal for a point. There are six players on each team. The game is three periods and each period is 20 minutes long. It is played on a regulation sized ice rink. Some rinks are even made accessible for the sledges to move in and out of the bench area. Otherwise, the players are lined up along the side of the regular rink. There are two able body referees and players in specially colored helmets or jerseys are deemed non-contact due to medical reasons. You can incorporate para ice hockey in the general PE curriculum by doing whole class activities, skill stations, and small sided games. This video shows an introductory activity to sled hockey. First, the whole class can practice moving on their scooters in open space using the mini hockey sticks. After a few minutes of practice, add in a variety of different pucks and balls to provide differentiation for your students to choose from. You can then do skill stations incorporating moving with the puck, passing, defending, and shooting. This video shows a quick skill station of shooting. Once your students learn the basic skills to play and understand sled hockey, you can start incorporating small-sided games in your PE class. Adjust the size of the playing area and use modified equipment such as balls and scooters as necessary for your individual students' needs. To make para ice hockey enjoyable for all students in your physical education class, be sure to differentiate your instruction. You can do this by making modifications to the equipment being used. Use scooters in replace of the sledges. Students can sit on one scooter and use their feet to help them move, or if you have the resources available to you, each student can use two scooters. While they sit on one scooter, they can have another one under their feet so they can only use their sticks to help them move. Use two short-handled foam hockey sticks in replace of the picks. There are a variety of different pucks and balls to choose from. You can use foam balls, small gator balls, plastic balls, or plastic hockey pucks. Students might have different preferences, so it is best for them to pick which one they want to practice with. Use bright colored jerseys so students can tell the teams apart. 
You can also use brightly colored floor tape to mark your boundaries and adjust your playing area as necessary. You can use pop-up goals or cones. Cones would also allow you to make the goals larger or smaller if needed. Steve Cash, Team USA Para Ice Hockey. Cash became an amputee at the age of three when he was diagnosed with bone cancer and underwent amputative surgery, losing both of his legs. At the age of 15, Cash joined Team USA as a backup for the Torino 2006 Games, where the team took home the bronze medal. Cash's rise came in the Vancouver 2010 Paralympics, where he was given the nickname Money for scoring over 11 goals in a game. Alana Ma, Team Canada Para Ice Hockey, suffers from a congenital spinal cord injury. Ma began playing para ice hockey at age 9 and began playing professionally with the Canadian women's sledge hockey team in 2016. Ma is already considered to be one of the best puck handlers on the national team, having helped win the team the silver medal in the 2014 IPC Women's World Ice Sledge Hockey Challenge. Adapted equipment can be purchased through Mobility Sports by going to mobilitysports.com or Unique Inventions Incorporated through uniqueinventions.sync.com. Gloves, helmets, and other protective equipment can be purchased at any regular sporting goods store, including Walmart, Dick's, and other varieties. Rochester Accessible Adventures partners with communities in the greater Rochester, Finger Lake, and Western New York regions to ensure that individuals with disabilities are able to access activity, inclusive recreation opportunities with their family and friends. RAA provides sled hockey clinics for the public, as well as has the Rochester sled hockey team. For more information or to sign up, you can go to the RAA Facebook for regular updates, as well as contact coach Darian Zyra to get direct information on practices and games. For more information, please go to rochesteraccessibilityadventures.org. Thank you for watching. We hope you learned a lot from this video and will implement sledge hockey into your general PE curriculum to spread awareness of disability sports and provide an inclusive environment to all students.